Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. pieces that go on this and uh, I've got to locate where these things go. So you got homework? Well I gotta get with them. I got what height is good for them. And location is another. We have a stud right here and another one right here. So I will get with them, cut that in and then I'll cut the Party board around the hole. So, uh, see that word there? My producer, editor, wife, lover. She told me that I should stop saying so so much. She noticed that because she's doing the transcript. So, so too much. So I'm going to work on not saying so and be irritating to her. What we've done here is a, a kit that we've been showing you as we're going along. And the kit is meant for a regular house. This particular uh house we're working on is a double wide mobile home and I work on houses too but the depth of the, of the wall instead of three and a half two by it's three and a quarter three and a, something like that three and a quarter and instead of half inch drywall it's three eighths so we lost three eighths of an inch that being said the uh little pockets that we put here this took a lot of thinking <laughs> uh, these things are meant to hold your shampoo and soap and things like that and they are three and a half inches the problem that we have is that if I put them in with this sunk in another three eighths that would put me at two and seven eighths and this would be standing up and i did not want to deal with a, uh, a, this that i can't really fix without a lot of work sticking out so what we went ahead and did was brought this on top of the three eighths so that we don't hit on the wall the, the siding back here and we're really close, but we're not hitting. Um, and this is where I, I'd have gotten them to find out where they would like to see their shampoo and such sit. And that's where they wanted it, and we put it there. They can People can always change their mind, and that's all right. Um, now, that meant that I had to do it all the way around. Now, I'm saying now a lot now. <laughs> It's here now. So like Super Trooper when they say meow. How many times do they say meow? What's new mm -hmm. meow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Uh, we are putting in a shower faucet here. And they bought a mowing shower faucet. So the width between these boards, these framing uh, studs, is 14 and 5 eighths, which that's very normal. But I wanted to make sure that this, on this kit, if you notice it shows up right there, that this will be at what is comfortable for them, 44 inches. And then I took it to a, this would be an eighth inch further out, and this is your trim ring, you'll take this off. 
but the measurement behind it is inch and five eighths, and that's exactly the width of a two by four. And we'll put that two by four uh, back there against the outside. We got a staple to deal with, and I made my march where the center of it will be at forty four. It has screws right there, screw holes. So you take this bracket off, see these little clips right there? We need better lighting in here. But you take these little clips loose, oh, pull here, them. Move around. Yeah, I'm just, see right here, sideways? I'm pulling it like so. On both of them, I'm pulling it out. That way, whenever I put the two by four in here, I can put screws to it like so. But before I put the screws to that two by that we're gonna put in here, I'm gonna be putting uh, PEX connections, actually connections right here on top, on the upside, right there. And I'm gonna put one on the bottom so I can block it off. So that doesn't have a bathtub drain, so we don't need that. And we'll block it off and I'll show you what we'll do. And then the these connections right here, the hot, which is the red one here, will go to the left side. We have the red packs right here. That one will go to the left side and the cold water will go to the right. That's the general principle. So here we so we gotta go insane so we can here we go. So like a the Joker in the Batman movie. Here and here we go. Uh, so we're gonna get so another two by four <laughs> and put this together, and we'll, we'll show you how we do it. The studs are tighter. This one's tilted in the back, so I cut it for the size up here, but it's closer in there. I'm just gonna drive it in. Now I get a screw gun, so three and two and a half inch, three inch screws. Total width 42, so 21 would be the center in that general area. Then take some inch and a half screws that size and Gotta make sure that says up right there. On this, see how it says up. Okay. Made my center mark. That's going to be the center of the single handle faucet. Kind of semi loose. Until we get both of them in there. I want that sitting pretty level. Now, I'm going to start putting all the things that we need to continue, like for the, the faucets. We won't need to put any pipe dope on here because this has a rubber gasket inside there that it sits on. So we'll put that on next. And I put 
put shutoffs in here in case some point uh, need to work on it. This is the cold side, that's your, your right. Your hot side will be your left. Plenty of hose, so we'll tighten these up clockwise, then we'll put a female PEX adapter and another female PEX adapter in here. We'll end up putting a, a plug in it. And we'll show you when we do that. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans. We're Americans. See you next time.